Welcome back to this episode of The Fish Files. Today, we're going to look at a exporter in Colombia, one of my favorite exporters, the Crone family. For the purpose of this video, I'm going down two days earlier before I run off on the Heiko expedition to try and find some new species in the Amazon, which sounds pretty scary, actually, to me. And so first, I'd like to go over what is a exporter and how this whole wild fish distribution system works around the world. Now, before we meet Sebastian, let me explain quickly what an exporter is. Each country has several exporters, obviously. They all compete against each other. Most of the fish that come from Colombia come from Bogota because that's where the primary international airport is. So these warehouses are located around the Bogota area, just like our warehouses are located around the LAX airport here in the United States. So we get a list of items, fish that can be caught, during a time of year from the Amazon region. And this is what that typical list looks like. It's all the fish that are currently being caught. I look through the list and I say, I want 100 of this, 500 of this, 2,000 mm. cardinals, blah, 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 all the way through. I send that down to the Crone family. The Crone family then sends it to a collector who works right off the Amazon River in these collecting stations. The collecting stations work with Indians is the Indians are in charge of the Amazon, and they, they're the ones that actually collect the fish. So when you, just a side note, when you have an aquarium, you're actually supporting the indigenous people and the rainforests around the world. But anyways, these Indians catch the fish in collecting station. Collecting station gets it to Crone. Crone puts it in their warehouse, holds them for a minimum of 10 days, that's Columbia law, and then ships it off to me and anyone else they want to ship to, and in this case, to their importer in China. So let's get down to Bogota and go meet Sebastian. Well, I've landed at the airport. I am exhausted, but now it's just immigration and I'm in Bogota. Okay, so I am with my host. So let me turn this camera the other way. And this is traffic in Bogota. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm and very what's, good. How are you? Could you introduce yourself to the camera? Yeah, of course. My name is Sebastian Crone. We are from Crone Ornamental Fish, Colombia. It is nice to have you here. The finest exporters of Colombia fish. So I'm about to go into the warehouse and uh, I'm going to be seeing some incredible views of autumn angels that uh, I've never seen in my life, I think. So let's see. So here we are. We've just walked into the Crone Warehouse, and this is the general manager, Sebastian, and he's gonna show us what we're packing tonight. Just a little shipment, is that right, Sebastian? It's better a little, just come with me. All, All right. Here. So, it's gonna be just Altons. Oh, just Altons? Yeah. And Only one Altons. species tonight. Just one species. But it's gonna be more than one ton in the shipment. Wow, okay. So, go ahead and look at it. Oh my gosh. All sizes from 2 centimeters to about 8 centimeters we will ship tonight. And hang on, all these tanks are altums? Come here, look at this. There's more and more and more. Oh, look at all these altums. Oh, they're perfect. All right, you, you're going to let us into what you feed them. Look at the size of some of them. These are the nicest angel fish I've ever seen in my life. And the most. Look at this one. There are these ones. And we have, let me see if we still have the very big one in the world, like my hand. Which is like my hand. But I don't think we have okay. more. And when you size these, these are like you, for uh, wholesale. When, when I purchase them from you, these are large, correct? These ones? No, this is medium size. Oh, <laughs> medium. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. We have large size and XL size. Ah. So you even have them. But so. Let me. Oh my gosh. This one has one. Those that is are sick. massive. Yeah. Okay, one sick one in the whole warehouse that I've seen. That's it. Oh. This is exciting. Yeah, look at it with my size. With my size. These guys are 
They've got hand size. Body, their body is the size of your hand. Yeah. Uh, they're going out tonight? So, the size that we measure is from the nose to the start of the, their feet. Oh, start of the... Yeah. Of the it doesn't count the, this bell. Cottage, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, okay. Oh my gosh, these guys, that is massive. I just found this tank of huge Altons. Uh, and you, these are, are these jumbo or? This is the biggest size that we ship that we okay. sport. So you will see it, they have around eight to 10 centimeters from the nose to the To the, the tail. start of the cotton yeah. tail. Ah. All right. Yeah, your, your camera's probably better they, than Even on this, doesn't feel to me the tank. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they, they're, they're, their they're fins will... How, how long a spread is that? 12, 12 inches, 14 inches, you think, from the bottom of their ventral tail to the top of their dorsal? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Very impressive. At the moment that we are packing any of the our species, we select one, one by one. So if you see a fish that doesn't have their complete tail, mm -hmm. or some of their fins doesn't look good, or they are too skinny, yeah. uh, we just don't send them. What's the most common defect you come across? Is it just like a fin With defect? With the autumns, the, the fin are just cut, it, or okay. the tails are not complete. Okay. Yeah. okay. And you said skinny, but these guys look well fed. Yeah, and they are right now are used to get dry food. Okay. So no, not just a ripened. Yeah. Okay, I understand that word. Uh, and they are. Um, so you've you've been feeding them to get them, preparing them for yeah. shipping to the wholesalers they like myself. To, yeah. Okay, so I am here also to figure out how to replace our dying market of frozen blackworms to keep some of these marvelous fish happy. These are baby arowanas with yolk sacs. And I asked Martha how she transitions them into prepared food. So she uses tetra food. They're going for it. It's working. So she's using tetra food with uh, dried fish flake. Can I take a picture of that? Yeah. It's just like fish powder. Uh-huh. So fish powder. So yeah. as an attractant, she adds fish powder to this regular prepared tetra flakes and tetra granules and the two together get them going on it. So you can use this for anything. You don't have frozen black worms. You don't want to go out in your yard and catch a little daphnia. What do you feed the altums? The problem is that we are not able to feed it today. Because ah, because you're shipping. Ah. Uh, if we feed it, we're going to, they are going yeah, to yeah, no, open the and everything, so the water is going to be a mess. Right, well, it's not hurting yeah. the altums. But you can't, you, you would yeah, feed they, them the they, same they thing. So she is right now... Measuring the pH. Measuring the pH, okay. So right now it's about 4.2. Oh my god, that's so that's low. low. Keeping the altums with a low uh, pH helps to uh, avoid the how, about, how about the water itself? Is it? Do you care if it's soft or hard? Uh, our it's our water, we don't really measure it. We don't it? really measure the hardness. Okay. Uh -huh. But uh, it's okay. should be, if you are going to measure it, it should be on regular. So in the tanks, uh -huh. we use nitrofurosum to, to receive all the fish. Uh -huh. But in the water that we chip, we use aquasave to stabilize the water. Wait, how much? Just like two drops? Uh, we just give like 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters? Okay, I'll, we'll figure that out. Then. 200 millimeters. Okay. So you treat the tank, to, to, not the bag. Liters, sorry. All right. So when you're shipping them out, you treat the tank. You don't put it in the bag itself. No, this water is not used for the chimney. This water is, is not used. Not used to the chimney. We can use another water that is treated differently. 
we okay. could use aqua safe to stabilize the water. Uh -huh. We use a amwort that is for avoid ammonia okay. in the water. And that's it. Okay. Just depending on the species, sometimes we use also salt. Just regular salt. But not these guys. No, no. Altums, yeah, we don't treat them with salt um, either. And how about nitrofurazone you use prophylactically? Just put a little bit of that? Just, just in the tanks. Just in the tanks? Yeah. Where, they're, where the fish are, okay. And some other species like Corridoras and Rotocinclus, they are also use a activated carbon. Here's Martha proving how important low pH is for these beautiful fish. Look how happy these guys are. So they're going to be shipping them though, just because there's, the population's high, they do use a, a separate shipping water to keep make sure they start with very low ammonia, I assume, but they do treat it with Aquasafe and Ampwell, which is, uh, oh my god, below four. That's unbelievable. All right, so I now know how to treat these guys a little bit better. At the moment that we are packing, of course our bags are full of oxygen, the treated water, um, everything prepared for the autumn. They, depending on their size, yes. uh, we select them to be uh, the exact amount or the biggest amount that uh -huh. keep the fish safe in the back. And so it looks for like. Example, uh -huh. Right now, here we have eight albums. So, all the back, all the box mm -hmm. is going to be with a album as well. So, the customers, uh, it is easier for the customers to get the fish and know what they are getting. But I manejo the peces, es indicado. To manage the fish, eh, it is necessary el almacenamiento, la de to water. have a good environment on the waterhouse, Las condiciones de agua en... the condition of the water, el a good eye with a lot of experience y el amor. and love. So let me give you a quick epilogue of the largest shipment of Altums ever done with a street value of $600,000. 40 were lost out of 4,400. Martha's love and everything else she did with those fish worked. They survived the shipment. 40 is really nothing. Probably more than 40 would have died if they had been in the waters in the wild over that same time period. And now it's up to her customers in China to keep those fish happy. So thank you for coming to the channel. I hope you enjoyed looking at all those altums. If you are interested in putting altums into an aquarium, just remember they're available only in the fall. They're seasonal species and they're only shipped in the fall. And when you receive them, you're gonna to need to have clean water, low pH. You are going to have to be able to transition them with, I would suggest some live foods of some sort along with that little formulation that we talked about in the show. And this is for experts, so let's not go killing any altums out there. Do your research. And most of all, get an aquarium.